This evening, we continue to follow breaking news out of Oconee County, where a deputy was shot on the job this afternoon. Right now, we have no information on that deputy's condition. The shooting happened on Black Bass Road. Sky 4 giving you a live exclusive look of the scene where it happened. This is near Lake Hartwell. Now, SLED has been called in to assist with the investigation, but the Oconee County Sheriff Mike Crenshaw tells us that the Greenville County Sheriff's Office is actually going to take lead on this investigation investigation, not because a sled officer was involved, but they say, according to the Greenville County Sheriff's Office, there was a familial conflict. And so that's why the Greenville County Sheriff's Office has been asked to take the lead on the investigation. Now take a look here. We this is on I-85. This was earlier today. You can see lights and sirens going on the interstate as they traveled at a high rate of speed escorting an ambulance. That was video again earlier on I-85 this afternoon. This evening, we do have live team coverage at several locations from Oconee County to Greenville. We're going to begin in Oconee County with Rashad Williams. He's live from Black Bass Road. This is where the scene all unfolded earlier this road earlier this afternoon. Rashad. So we've just learned that Oconee County deputy was shot at the conclusion of a pursuit. We're actually still on Rock Hill Road. It's blocked off for a few blocks away from Black Bass Road where this all unfolded. I want to step out quick and give you a look at the scene here again. It's blocked off by several authorities. We've got yellow tape down on the end a few blocks away from Black Bass Road, but giving you a look at Sky 4. I want to go over some other new information that we just got into the newsroom. The sheriff says the deputies were conducting a traffic stop earlier this afternoon on South Highway 11 at Mount Pleasant Road on a white Chevrolet Silverado. During the course of that traffic stop, the driver of the truck sped away from the scene and led deputies on that pursuit that I mentioned. According to the sheriff, the driver of the pickup made his way down the area of Black Bass Road uh, where shots were fired. A deputy was hit by gunfire and the driver of the pickup drove away. The deputy was then transported to the hospital, but the suspect was later located on Black Bass Road and was shot by deputies. Again, that suspect was also shot by deputies, and that is according to the sheriff. I spoke to a woman who says her home is nearby. I was on my way home from work and I was talking with my wife and she said she'd been hearing shots firing in the background. And I said, it sounds like someone's doing target practice or something. She's like, well, no, I, I don't know what's going on. So then I had gotten out, went to Walmart and she called me right when I was inside the store and she said, take your time. You can't get in. The roads are blocked off. They're looking for somebody. I think there's been a shooting or something. We want to bring you back out here live now. One more look at the scene. Several law enforcement agencies still here. Yellow tape blocking this area off. We have a line of cars um, on the other side. I want to bring you back over this way. Um, if I could have the photographer, Josh, come, come this way and show. Uh, I want to give a quick look at the line of cars that are here. Many people who need to pass through this area or live here, authorities telling them that it is going to be around four hours before they're able to access uh, this point simply because, uh, according to authorities here on scene, they are looking for another suspect. Again, the line of cars here, no one in or out for at least another four hours because authorities on scene telling us that they are looking for another suspect. And I'll send it back to you. Rashad, thank you. And nearly three miles down the road was a second scene along South Union Road in Westminster. Ray Arena was there, and that was as the life flight was leaving, and Ray saw all of that unfold. But since then, he has moved to the Law Enforcement Center in Oconee County to get more information. Ray, what have you learned since you arrived there? Jane Sydney is pretty quiet scene here at the sheriff's office, but earlier today, authorities confirmed to me that they were using that church just a few miles down from the actual shooting scene as a landing area for that life flight helicopter. But we want to go ahead and show you what we saw just about an hour ago. Now Sky 4 got an exclusive look over South Union Baptist Church just before 4 this afternoon. And video captured a stretcher being loaded into a life flight helicopter in the church's parking lot. Now Scott Smith, who is the deputy director for Oconee County Emergency Management, confirmed that two people were taken from the church to Prisma Health Greenville Memorial Hospital after a deputy involved shooting and a Coney County Sheriff Mike Crenshaw confirmed within the last few minutes that both the suspect and the deputy 
were shot. Now, Smith says the condition of the two patients who were transported are not yet known. And the Oconee County coroner says their office is aware of the deputy involved shooting. But as of 430 this afternoon, they say no one has died as a result. And that's all of the information we got. And as soon as we get more information, we'll be sure to send that your way. But for now, live in Oconee County, Ray Urena, WYFF News 4. Ray, thank you so much. And there was a lot of law enforcement mm -hmm. presence along Interstate 85 uh, with law enforcement from three counties as they were traveling at a high rate of speed. Yeah, that's right. That's video that one of our crews got going down I-85 there uh, on their way to Oconee County, escorting that ambulance there. You can see to Greenville Memorial Hospital to the trauma unit. That's where we find our Peyton Furtado live this evening. Peyton, what do you know? Sydney, we've seen crews from Anderson County Sheriff's Office, from Greenville County, from Oconee County. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see what we're seeing now. Earlier, we saw lines of cars lining this emergency, uh, um, the Greenville Memorial Hospital. Uh, but earlier today, we saw a lot more law enforcement. I want to show you some video we saw from earlier with law enforcement speeding, swerving through cars and lines just to get here and bring this ambulance in. We now believe that ambulance had the deputy inside, bringing him to Greenville Memorial Hospital. Later on, we saw that life flight that Ray was talking about flying from that Baptist church all the way here, bringing potentially one of those suspects that we were talking about. At this point, again, we do not know the condition of either one of those suspects, but we do know Oconee County and Greenville County coroners have not been called to the scene. We know no one is dead at this point. Uh, the person allegedly shot a deputy and stopped that that person has been unloaded here at Greenville Memorial Hospital. We know that some of these cars could have brought in family members, friends to Greenville Memorial Hospital. Some of them nearly hit some cars, bringing people to Greenville Memorial Hospital, trying to get here in time. It felt like a life or death situation. Again, we don't know the condition of either of the people involved in this, but we're going to work to find out for you for now live in Greenville County. I'm Peyton Furtado for WYFF News 4. Peyton, thank you. And again, here's a brief breakdown of what we know out of Oconee County. This afternoon, a deputy sheriff was shot in the line of duty. Deputies were conducting a traffic stop on Highway 11 near the Fair Play exit, South, South Oconee, but the driver sped away and led those deputies on a pursuit. The Oconee County Sheriff Mike Crenshaw says that the driver fired shots when he got to Black Bass Drive Road near Lake Hartwell. The suspect was then shot by deputies the suspect is in custody right now. There is heavy law enforcement outside of Greenville Memorial Hospital. Neither names are being released of the deputy or of the suspect. We do know at the request of the Oconee County Sheriff, the Greenville County Sheriff's Office will be leading the investigation on this case and stay up to date with WIFF News 4 for the latest as we learn more on this breaking news story.